Good afternoon, and welcome to Tarrant Plays FTL. Last time, managed to get a Kestrel cruiser all the way to the end, uh, and defeat the flagship. Uh, but let's try something uh, a bit different. Uh, the Kestrel is always fun to use, uh, but this guy here... Uh, we've got the Engi ship, of course the Federation flagship, Rock, and the uh, Zorro. So let's try this stealth ship. I actually really hate this ship. Uh, it is uh, probably one of my worst ships, uh, but I think because it has no shields, uh, it's going to be uh, kind of fun. Uh, so let's uh, let's give it a try. So first, let's uh, rename our people. Uh, We've got, of course, Tarrant piloting. Uh, Jeff Bars? No. All right. Sig. And uh, for putting me Spracky? Sparky. All right. And let's... Uh, onward we go. So this ship has no shields, but it does come with a cloaking device. So the goal at in the early going is to use the cloak to uh, get away from things and avoid shots. And so, uh, let's rename this. Uh, uh, I think that's a bit apt with shields. We're on normal. And let's, uh, let's get started. Alright, so we've got... Uh, dual lasers and the mini beam. We're going to put the mi dual lasers first because the mini beam cannot penetrate shields. Uh, we also have uh, extra energy, so right now we're going to apply that all to the uh, all to the engines, help our uh, evade. Sig, we're going to put you on weapons. And Sparky, why don't you head back here to the engines. And we don't have any shields, so we don't have to worry about anybody using it. Alright, we're starting off with the distress signal. One nice thing about this ship is it does have a, uh, uh, scanners on it, so you can see whether or not there's a solar or ion storm or anything like that. Let's see if we can avoid those. A little tough and nebulous. Oh, nice. We're starting out with a blue option. Alright. Not too bad. Extra fuel, a drone part. All right. Both of these have possible ships detected. Uh, we do have issues where there's not a lot of options on where to go. <coughs> so let's head here, because I think from down here we've got a better, uh, better. All right. Ah, excellent. Uh, I am a big fan of hiring mercenaries to delay the rebels. That usually gets you three to four extra turns where you do not have to, uh, where you do, can continue to explore the sector and pick up some additional scrap. So let's do that. A rebel ship. Oh, demand surrender. Come on, people. Uh-oh. First thing we've got to take out is that drone control. It's actually kind of disastrous. Uh, so let's uh, send our lasers over to the drone control. Try to. Okay, now our mini beam, which truly is mini. Uh, let's see, can we get the drone control all the way down to weapons? We can. All right. Okay. Right now, we want to... Uh-oh. Incoming missile. Is our cloak ready? No, it is not. And there goes our beam. Okay, let's send our dual lasers out. And I, yes, I see that we're, our oxygen is not particularly... Lasers, lasers. 
lasers and beam. Let's get you. Uh, let's. Okay. Dual lasers. Siggy. Love you, but. Oh, and he beamed away. Okay, well, then let's repair the oxygen and keep on going. The beginning parts of this, uh, using this ship are always a little bit dangerous. Because of this, uh, inability to really fight off, uh, fight off intruders. Alright, Tarrant. Oops, we, we have to give power to the oxygen. And we're good now. Alright, let's see. Possible ships detected over here. Let's see what we can do. Ah. Ooh, a border. Tarrant, why don't you go over and try to fight that off? Here comes a missile. Excellent. All of our weapons are ready. Alright, the dual lasers are going to take out the weapons. As soon as the shields are down, let's take our mini beam here and do this. All right, beautiful. All right, get back there. That is as good as I think we could expect. Ziggy, keep working on it. Let's move to the shields. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, I need to time that better with the dual lasers. Going on the shields. Try. Uh, try a little bit across here. Let's see. No. Three fuel, five missiles, three to nine scrap. That is not acceptable. Uh, man, if I had a teleporter, uh, we would be helping these people. Alright, we got our first ship. Uh, it's not much better than their offer, but I do like the extra scrap. Alright, Tarrant, you are quite injured. Why don't you heal yourself up? One of the real things we need to do here is get a better weapon. Uh, the mini beam is, is cute and fun, but doesn't really do much. And the dual laser is not nearly as good as the purse laser that the Kestrel comes with. Alright, back to piloting. God, we have a lot of options now, and the Rebels aren't even moving yet, so I think we want to try and really do as much as possible, even if it puts us at risk while we're here. Ah, oh, slavers, never surrender. Never give up, never surrender. And it looks like all they have is one, and, oh, a boarding drone. Oh, fast. We're going to leave him alone. their drone control, then their boarding drone will stop attacking. So, there we go. It's stopped. We do have an issue with our, uh, uh, with this guy. We're going to have to deal with that breach. But at least on a temporary basis, we're okay. Right, let's get our mini beam again. And this time, let's take him, can we do all four of these? Shall we? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Now, ooh, excellent. We got ourselves a mantid. But one of the things we do have an issue with is this boarding drone. We've got to kill him before we can uh, we can fix that breach. And there's no oxygen there, so we're gonna do our best here. And as soon as we start seeing a little damage to people, they can all head into the med bay and heal up. Oh, 
Okay, with everybody healed, head back in and fight him off. Okay, fix the breach. I know the mantid isn't particularly good at fixing things, but... Alright, we are good. Everybody heal up. Now this mantid would be great if we can get a crew teleporter or the like. Alright. Tarrant is okay at fighting and uh, and repair, but hasn't really gotten much on piloting. Siggy, good on weapons, and again, not much on on the engines. And Jose, what a name for a mantid. Looks like we're ready. Ah, finally the rebels are arriving. <clears throat> ah, well, let's investigate. Okay. And a small shuttle in a field whose only occupants are brightly colored, sick legged, legged horse like animals. Could they be with your scans picked up? Let's try to communicate with them. Oh. Sometimes you get a crew member out of that, uh, usually an Engi. That's what I was hoping for, but alas, it was not to be. Hello, travelers. Care to take up a bit of mercenary work? Sure. Uh. Yes, we'll be happy to do that. Uh, oh, look, we're one space away. Okay. Do it. Engage the red. Ah. Blah, blah, blah. That's never good. Okay, they've got a repair drone and this uh, combat drone. So as soon as they fire their missile, we're going to have to take the shots from this for a little bit. Look. Okay. Okay. Lasers, and let's head our second uh, mini beam here. See if we can get all four of those. All right, we've taken out the drone. That's number one. Uh, <coughs> Engi, I or Mantid, I know you're terrible at this, but uh, we really need people fixing. So that's going to be your job. Oh, they're back, and our the lobbers here are not, so we are going to take some damage. Fix, 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 fix. Ah! No! Siggy, faster! Alright, power up the mini beam. Doom, death, destruction. Sensors down, everything down. No! Ah. Man, drones are just death to that stealth ship. Alas. Well, 202. That's an embarrassing score. Alas. Well, this has been Tarrant Plays FTL, and I think our, uh, name of the sitting duck uh, was pretty apt. Uh, until next time, uh, have a wonderful day.